Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 59 and we are going to talk about that we have to be whole, act with integrity, do what your stakeholders expect of you. Jab hum expectations ki baat karte hain, to we have to be careful that our stakeholders might have certain expectations from us and we will be having certain expectations with them. Now when we start with the story of expectations, remember that the first thing you need to look at is that how and why others should support you. Wo kya wajuhat hain, wo kya circumstances hain that others would be there to talk about you, to take care about you. So we have to be careful and vigilant that we have to meet their expectations as well. The second important thing we have to bear in mind is talking about what you think they expect from you ke wo aap se jo tawakkuat wabasta kiye huye hain un tawakkuat par aap pura kaise utroge because sirf tawakkuat aap unse wabasta nahi kar rahe ho wo bhi aap se bahut kuch demand wo kar rahe hain the third thing we need to look at is basically that how they view their relationship with you to aapas ke taluqat aapas ke maamlaat in sab ko hame ek balanced way mein wo rakhna hoga because agar hum is balance ko create nahi karenge to there would be clash of expectations the fourth important thing is that we have to build a meaningful connection with our followers with our stakeholders and that meaningful relationship is basically sine qua non of the leadership so that sine qua non is basically talking about the establishment of the relationship a continuous connectivity with the stakeholders so us connectivity ke baghair hamare liye mushkil ho jayega ke hum apne relationship ko strengthen kar sake so to find out this relationship there is an exercise we have to solve and this is our exercise number 7 there are four main aspects we have to talk about the work home community and self it says that identify the most important people in your life what they expect of you so we have to name those people for example i am writing in the column of work that this is person a this is person b this is person c and this is person d same way we have to identify few people from the home who are most important to you and supposedly we say that they are w x y and z and same way from the community from our circumstances we have to identify certain people who are most important stakeholders for you and suppose if i say that they are l m n and o so these are the people you have to put the real names in this particular context now you have to see that if these people are the most important relationships with you most important stakeholders for you related to the work home community and obviously for self we have spirituality relaxation physical health and emotional health now we have to scale them from 1 to 10 supposedly one says that you believe you are never meeting expectations five indicates that you believe you are meeting expectations and 10 says that it indicates that you believe you are meeting expectations fully all the time so when we talk about filling of these boxes so supposedly for work the person a i am not fulfilling his or her uh, expectations i may say five for person b if i say that i am meeting expectations i can send i can say five and for person c if i say that i am fully meeting the expectations I can say 10 and likewise I can also write in between values supposedly 4 for D and same is the case with the home supposedly for person W I have to say 5 for X I have to say 7 for Y I have to say again 7 and supposedly for Z I have to say 9 now talking about the community supposedly for the L person I am saying 1 for the M person I am saying 1 for the N person I am saying 5 and for the O person, supposedly if I say 8. Same is the case, I have to fill this grid for my own self as well. Supposedly, my spiritual context is having expectations according to what I am thinking about. So I may call to myself that I am having satisfaction and the relationship and the belief of meeting expectations, supposedly 7. For relaxation, supposedly 5. For physical health, supposedly 8. And for emotional health, supposedly 9. So I have given certain values to these four columns related to work, home, community and self and these values are going to help me in my further calculations of investigation related to my total leadership context. Now there are certain important questions I need to focus upon. For example, 
what are the main things my stakeholders really want from me and I have to be very much specific that what are those real factors which I have to include in my calculations and in my perspective and those basically real factors are beyond particularly the time and the attention supposedly it may include empathy it may include your uh, motivation it may include your uh, context of handling the other people and guiding and training and mentoring them the second thing is that are there ways in which the expectations of one stakeholder in one domain has of me are compatible with those of the stakeholders in different domains so i have to talk about that one domain relationship for example home or community is having the relationship with different domains and these are the things i have to see in this context ke ek domain ke jo log hain unka jo compatibility aur taluk hai wo dusre domain ke logon ke sath kis qadar strong hai and sometimes i can even see ke what they mesh in some way ke baaz oqat unke darmiyan koi certain conflict jo hai it can also take place we have to see ke wo kaun se conflicts hain jo ke mere work mein mere home se aa rahe hain मेरे होम से कम्युनिटी में आ रहे हैं कम्युनिटी से होम या वर्क में आ रहे हैं और इवन वेयर इज द पॉइंट जहां पर शायद मेरी अपनी जात जो है कीपिंग इन माइंड माय स्पिरिचुअलिटी माय फिजिकल कॉन्टेक्स्ट वो इन कन्फ्लिक्ट आ रहा है सो उन कन्फ्लिक्ट्स को हमें एक्चुअली सॉल्व करना है उन कन्फ्लिक्ट्स को हमें दूर करना है टू मेक द बैलेंस टू क्रिएट द बैलेंस एंड टू फाइंड आउट द टोटल लीडरशिप एमंग अस सो द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर इज दैट डू दीज एक्सपेक्टेशन फिट माई फिट विद माई वैल्यूज अब हमें अपनी वैल्यूज पिछली एक्सरसाइज से क्लियर होंगी कि हमने अपनी कोर वैल्यूज क्या आइडेंटिफाई की हैं और क्या मेरी तो उन वैल्यूज के साथ इन अकॉर्डेंस हैं या नहीं हैं आई वांट टू अचीव इन द फ्यूचर जिनके बारे में मैं मुस्तकबिल की अपनी प्लानिंग वो कर रहा हूं लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट दैट वट माइट आई डू डिफरेंटली एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ माई आंसर टू दीज क्वेश्चन अब मुझे ये देखना पड़ेगा कि वो क्या डिफरेंस है जो मुझे लेकर आना है अपने तालुकात में अपने मामलात में दूसरों के साथ के जिससे के मैं इस कन्फ्लिक्ट को रिमूव कर सकूं एंड देर शुड नॉट बी समथिंग विच इज इन क्लैश विद माई वैल्यूज एंड देर इज नॉट समथिंग विच इज एक्चुअली बॉदरिंग मी और द अदर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ आई कंक्लूड द होल डिस्कशन रिमेंबर दैट यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल अबाउट योर स्टेक होल्डर्स and you have to be careful about the expectations with your stakeholders kuch tawakkuat hum unse wabasta karte hain kuch tawakkuat wo humse wabasta karte hain hame koshish ye karni hai ki hum unki tawakkuat par pura utre taaki wo bhi hamari tawakkuat par pura utar sake and there should not be any conflict thank you